Terry with Sail Teetopia. This is the little header for part two of how many anchors does it take? How many anchors does it take it refers to how many anchors does someone need to put down to hold in that muck of slime uh, and sand and sediment that's accrued on top of the coral base that is our keys chain. Um, the uh, anchors, there were 11 anchors, uh, four or five CQRs, the rest were all damp first of different sizes. I'm not sure who was there holding to what. And if you ever put an anchor down, have a tag on it, something so you can pull it the opposite way and retrieve it, or you're gonna die for it, or you're gonna lose it, and it's gonna be part of the abyss. So uh, Isaac dove in, searching in the muck for where we thought this anchor was, after we'd already pulled the whole mass of 11 other anchors up. There were um, four or five CQRs. There were, the rest were uh, Danforths of different sizes. Uh, the biggest CQR was a 25. The biggest Danforth was a 22. Um, and then the rest were smaller. And some, the couple of them were, one was our new Danforth. One was a fairly new CQR. Uh, the rest were, uh, used and rusty and who knows, you know, um, steel doesn't really rust underwater, um, but these anchors are definitely aged. If you need one, hit us up. Um, anyway, he dove for our shrimp anchor. You gotta watch the video to find out the results. So like, share, subscribe. We're gonna keep putting out videos of our adventures. We're gonna keep producing what we've got. And when we get to Puerto Rico, we will show you all the stuff we got going on there. So I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you enjoy our videos and please do subscribe. Uh, you don't have to hit the bell if you don't want to, um, but if you hit the bell when something new comes in that we produce, you'll get it in your email. Hey, Sail to Utopia, put out a new video. Um, and we're trying to do a lot. So, you know, don't hit the bell if you don't want to, but subscribe, give us the numbers and uh, we really appreciate you and appreciate you watching us. Thanks and cheers. So we get the hookah set up. Isaac's got 3,500 pounds of, oh, actually it's, yeah, 3,500 pounds almost of air. And he's geared up and he's gonna go down because the one anchor we wanted was not in the wad. So as this settles out a little bit, we'll see if he can locate it using his magnificent search and rescue techniques. So, eight anchors retrieved from this pile. Isaac, are you excited about this? So excited. That's my favorite thing to do. Nope, that is a 22. Search and recovery. So we got day three. Day three. <laughs> With new finnies, so. Yeah. So I'm oh, yeah. this. Jack. Wow, baby, chill. this is real. Okay, um, go check my battery status. Oh. Your personal batteries? Do you have personal batteries? It must be low. Those batteries are And when you go down the um, anchor chain, just make sure that we don't have something breaking down. It's just, it's just yeah, it's stay clear. I, I'm stealing Isaac. Jack, don't do it. Good job, Jack. No barking. Job, Jack. You are doing so good. What's the 
it up here about 14 feet. Find it. Leave the line. Put that line over to me. I am. I got you, go away. I got you. Hook. Got it. Trent, you want to do the honors? Yes. Gonna pull us, so everybody hang on. Um, you might be headed for the Oh, Barry. He went back over to the origin. What's in your other hand, bud? Oh, piece of chain. He's got another anchor. He's got another anchor. Another anchor. That's what we're trying to do. Trying to get you clear for sizing. All right, take some slack. Good job, Isaac.
just have to go slow so we yeah. can keep clearing the rock. Oh. He's got it. He's got it right below the surface. Keep going. Okay, he's got it right below the surface. like, share, subscribe. I know. And uh, hit us up again. We'll have more. Cheers. <laughs>